how do I change the background color for different divs or the different sections of my web page? I'm going to show you how. Let's actually go to Text Wrangler here. We can see that we have the different sections. We've got three main sections. We've got our main div right here. And then inside here we have our priority div. And then here we've got our footer div. Now it looks like if we look at what we're trying to do here, the footer div can be the regular background color. We don't have to change there, but there's two background colors we need to change. We want to change the background color for the priority div to be this sort of yellow. And then we want to change the background color for this main div to be sort of this lighter red. And so to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up that that uh, palette, the color palette export that we did in a previous screencast. And this is going to give me a reference. Um, I can see here that the yellow is going to be pretty close to this. And this color, this, uh, this, this dark, this sort of medium colored red looks like the red that we want to get over here. So we need some way to apply those colors to, to those particular divs. And so this is where we're, have, we're going to have a look at the CSS here. And we'll see that, um, OK, so we've got, we've got different attributes attributes, attribute value pairs here that are being applied to the div selector, and that's fine. But, you know, thinking ahead, I could do background color, oops, color, and then I could apply, you know, whatever my color is, but then that's just going to apply it to all the divs. And that's not what we want, is it? No, we want to apply it to specific divs. So how do we apply a color to just one specific div? And this is where we make use of those ID attributes, uh, these ID attribute value pairs that we created. Uh, the way that we do that is we, 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 what we're going to do is we're going to apply specific styles to only specific IDs. Let me show you what that looks like. In CSS, we're going to start by doing a hashtag, and then we're going to write the name of the ID that we want to style. And just to, I, just to make things simpler, I'm actually going to write out all the IDs that we created. And uh, because eventually we're going to apply styles to all of them. And again, remem remember, in CSS, it doesn't matter the order in which you apply styles. It's going to go through them, all of them, eventually anyways. Uh, main priority, what was the last one? Footer, right? OK. And then just to, just as a little placeholder here, we're going to say, whoops, we're going to say stuff goes here. <laughs> OK, and uh, that's it's just a little reminder that we're going to put styles inside there. OK, so let's save that. And so let's just review. So now we're, we're looking at it. This is a new type of selector. This is a selector that allows us to hone in on just a specific element or specific. In this case, the, the little hashtag indicates that we're, we just want to apply this stuff just to the ID that has the name main. And by the way, these names, they could be anything you want. You could like, you know, make up words, um, and and as long as you've got, as long as it's the same thing here, okay. So you could call this anything you want. It is a good idea to use a word that makes sense, okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get very confused and lose track of what your code is all about. Uh, but in this case, I've got three IDs that are identified in this code. I've got main, I have priority, and I have footer. And likewise, in my CSS, I'm going to say, okay, here's the stuff I want to apply to main, here's the stuff I want to apply to priority, and here's the stuff that I want to apply to footer. So let's start with main, okay? Main is something we've already decided we want that to be sort of a, a kind of a medium colored red. So let's have a look at the code here. So we know that we're going to change this to be background color. And then we need to find the right color. And I think, let's have a look at our, our little palette here. Um, I'm guessing that that 63062B uh, hex code is going to be close. So let's go number sign, 63062B. Don't forget the semicolon. Let's save that. And let's see if let's see if we're right. OK, I'm going to go back to Google Chrome. And this is what we're aiming for color-wise. Don't worry about the layout yet. Color-wise, we're aiming for that. Let's take a look at this. Let's hit reload. And I think that's right. Yeah, that looks good. OK, so we've now just applied this color to this. Now, how come my priority is, is, is that same color too? Let's think about this. OK, why is the priority div down here also the same background color. Well, because remember, if we have a look at our HTML code here, priority is actually located inside the main div. 
So by definition, anything that you apply to the main div is going to get applied to priority as well. So if we want to override that, which in this sense we do, right, because we want to make the background color for that yellow, um, we have to actually go in and add a new background color to priority. So I'm going to do that, and I'm actually going to change this to a different color. I'm going to change it to that yellow color that we wanted to change it to. Uh, there it is right there. So let's go ahead and type FFF. A66. Let's save that. And so now I've applied a new background color, a different background color to priority. Okay, let's have a look and see if that worked. I'm going to go ahead. We're expecting the background color for this div right here to change. We're expecting it to change to yellow. Let's see if that works. It did. All right. Um, now that text is really hard to read, so let's change that to, say, a darker. Uh, what colors do we have available to us? Oh, this is like a black or black light color, very, very dark charcoal. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's go in here. I just want to affect the text that's located inside the priority div. So I'm going to just say color, because remember the color attribute in CSS applies to the text color. And I'm going to say 030303. Okay, let's hit save. And let's go and reload this and see what happens. We're expecting the color of this text to change to black. Let's hit reload. And it did. There we go. Why didn't the, the, uh, the link color change? Once again, that's because the links actually are styled with a different, uh, with a different um, selector here. They're styled with the A selector. Okay. Um, what do you think? Color-wise, we're heading in the right direction. We still have some more tweaking, but at least now we know how to apply specific styles to specific divs, and that's going to come in handy, and you'll see in upcoming uh, screencasts why. Okay, that's all I have for you right now. I hope that you found that useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.